here we have brackets equal to 10. Now we are tempted to make each bracket equal to 10, but that is not true. What you want to do is write it in standard form. So have everything on the left equal to zero on the right. Before we can do that, we need to multiply out. And I like to use the method of foiling. So this would be x squared plus 2x and then minus 7 times x, which is negative 7x. And then negative 7 times 2, which is negative 14, equals to 10. So you would have x squared minus 5x minus 14 minus 10 equal to 0. Now this is partially in standard form. We can still add these like terms together. So we'll have x squared minus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0. And now we use the factors of 24 to find minus 5x. So it can be 1 times 24, that won't work, 2 times 12, 3 times 8. So I can see 3 and 8 will make minus 5 if I make 8 negative. So when I factorize, it will be x minus 8, x plus 3 equals to 0. And now to solve for x, I'll make each set of brackets equal to 0. So x can be equal to plus 8 or x could be equal to negative 3.